everybody and welcome back to my channel how are guys i hope you're well in today's video i want to tell you some things that people have told to me and that maybe f make me feel uncomfortable or frustrated or they were annoying i would start with the most perhaps annoying thing that people have said is that How did you end up in a wheelchair? Is that... Yeah, I just fell out of sky And I sit in a wheelchair No people No, basically I had a car accident Of course, there are many different disabilities nowadays Of course, you can be born and you can uh, uh, use a wheelchair you can uh, have a car accident and you can use a wheelchair you can have only a pathology or a disease and you have to use a wheelchair not uh, permanent, maybe temporarily, maybe only a few hours a day etc etc but the question how did you end up in a wheelchair doesn't sound good I mean perhaps questioning what happened to you might be better than how did you end up in a wheelchair because I didn't end up in a wheelchair and besides my wheelchair is my way of walking that's what I used to move around and uh, to be able to do things as able body the only thing is that I basically perhaps it's slower than everybody but it gives me the freedom to go out on my own and it gives me the freedom to be able to do things on my own and also to be around others because that's also important you cannot stay all inside and don't hang out or don't have to go out to do groceries or things like that Is that permanent or temporary? Meaning the wheelchair. I do actually understand that some people really don't have knowledge at all about wheelchair and I did met those people. There are like perhaps 3 million people with disability so you should know uh, that we are living in between you. But the fact that uh, we are not that many in um, city uh, and not all of the disabled people, wheelchair users, are going out well, they don't see us, so they don't know about us anyway, that's a question that I find it a bit annoying because it is something that I really need to use every day because otherwise without I cannot move I can only crawl like a baby using a baby voice tone while talking to me I'm not a baby I'm using a wheelchair it has wheels as the one for the babies but I'm not a baby so the fact that you're talking to me with a baby voice it feels like you have pity towards me or it feels like you're superior but no we are equal the only fact that makes the difference between me and you is that I'm rolling and you're walking people consider me an inspiration even strangers on street they see me and they basically don't even say hi or so oh you're so beautiful you're an inspiration just because I'm just living my life and I'm doing my things you know my daily things perhaps going to the supermarket it happened once that I was going to the supermarket and someone was staying on a on a bench uh, or so and not even said hi or so, looked at me and said oh you're so beautiful, you're such an inspiration 
keep going. I'm like out of nowhere. I'm just going to the supermarket. Is that so unusual for wheelchair users? I mean, I'm still a person. I can talk, I can see, I can roll, I can do groceries. What's the problem, man? Another thing that people have said to me is, and I do get that perhaps a lot, is continue to pray to God because God will heal you. I mean, perhaps also it's because of God that my car accident happened. I am a believer, I do believe in God, I'm orthodox as religion and I do believe in pray and uh, God, etc., all that stuff. But to pray to God to heal me, no. Then why did I have my car accident? I mean, I should have prayed to not have my car accident? Does it make sense? No, God won't heal me. I mean, uh, I did have my car accident f for a purpose and I'm still here and alive for a purpose I do pray to God but not for healing I do pray to God for having health and being uh, able to wake up every day and be able to, to do things another thing that happened to me uh, and uh, this is not something that someone told me but it is a fact uh, I was in church with my parents and you know there were also other people in the church and all of a sudden another person comes to me and gives me money this happened in Romania when I visited my country after Two years after my accident I'm like why I don't want to make a bad impression about my uh, native country but people see wheelchair user there with poor and pity the fact that I'm in a wheelchair doesn't mean that I'm poor and you don't have to treat me with pity I mean uh, perhaps there are cases that cannot, uh, you know, cannot handle it with financial resources. Uh, which issues that I'm talking about, or disabled people. The fact that you give money to someone in a wheelchair, it, it gives such a feeling that it's like, please. Another thing that happened to me and um, I want to uh, share it with you is being um, spoken to the person next to me in a public institution, you know, to the post or to the bank. If it happens that I'm with someone that's able body, most of the times it happens that well, the desks are not at the height of the wheelchair, which is fine, even if they should be. But then the persons that work there, they do not talk to me. They talk to the person next to me. I'm like, I'm here. I'm disabled, but I still can talk. I still can think for myself. I still can choose for myself. I'm like, what is this? I'm not a baby, I'm a grown-up girl, so I can decide for myself. Please talk to me. It happened a few times. Another thing that happens for a wheelchair user is that people sometimes just take from, for granted that they need to push you. I have my wheelchair with handles because uh, sometimes I really need uh, someone to push me or so because of my spasms, my legs or perhaps because I'm tired 
but sometimes the people that are around me uh, they don't even ask if I need that they just take it and sometimes to be honest it is annoying it is like wait let me tell you or ask me another thing that happened to me uh, and I want to share it with you is once I was going to cinema with my boyfriend and we parked the car and he was uh, helping me to get out of the car but next to my car there were two people talking and the moment I sit in my wheelchair there is one of them coming to me and telling that you know I don't belong to that wheelchair you need to fight every day you need to pray to God and you need to fight every day and uh, you will be able to walk uh, again I'm like okay thank you then he continues saying that I've been there I know how you feel I've had my leg or so broken I don't remember exactly what he said and I've been in hospital and doctors didn't give any chance for me to be able to walk again or run or things like that and I did fight every day, I didn't listen to them I did fight every day and now I'm able to also run I'm like okay, I'm really happy for you but let me read another thing that I consider it is a bit annoying or frustrating that people uh, can say to which user is you know, a friend of mine had a wife that has been sitting in a wheelchair for three months so I know how do you feel or I've been using the wheelchair for three weeks and I know how you feel No! For that period you don't know how I feel using the wheelchair every day is so different and even using the wheelchair for three months and then being able to walk it's also like you've been recovering from something but to use the wheelchair every day it's so different than you know having it only for three months or six months few weeks and then having the normal life again it's so different because everything changes in wheelchair from this point of view you also see people different you also do things different things are slower like for example me doing dishes it takes so much time but for my boyfriend it's like few seconds and he's done another thing that happened to me uh, perhaps not once but few times is that people looked at me and thought that I'm not disabled once it happened when I was in car and I was trying to park my car on a disabled spot in a parking garage and there is this couple, old couple coming and they look at me and they make the sign that I'm not allowed to park there while I was doing the process, you know, to park I'm not allowed to park there because it's disabled spot and I'm looking at them like I'm showing even the card that I have, you know, the blue badge for parking and even then they, they, they look at me, I just park get out of the car and then they see and they don't say anything and it happens once also when I was in wheelchair among other wheelchair users and then someone that didn't know me at all uh, say told me uh, oh I thought you're one of the voluntary uh, persons not uh, one of the wheelchair users because there was a kind of sport event where voluntary people everybody persons would come to join us using a wheelchair playing uh, along with us and I was like okay and that I will take it as a compliment 
<laughs> but the fact that some person don't consider me disabled from seeing me from the car or sitting at a desktop or so they don't consider me disabled it's like that was guys for today thank you for watching let me know what experience do you have uh, what do you think about my personal experience and about things that people told me uh, as a wheelchair user don't forget to subscribe like comment and see you in the next video bye <laughs>